Good afternoon, Roswell students and staff. My name is Kyle. And my name is Joe. And you are inside the nest. It is Spirit Week. On Friday, we will hold a pep session where the middle and high school grade levels will once again be competing for the Spirit Sticks. Points will be given to the grades that dress up the most during Spirit Week and for the winners of the pep session games. This is a reminder that if you signed up to participate in the pep session games, that you will meet today and Thursday during homeroom in the main gym to practice with your team. Get ready to have fun, dress up, and compete for the spirit sticks during the pep session on Friday. Dress up days this week include frat day, which is Wednesday, tomorrow, blackout day, wear that black. Thursday is country day, wear those boots and jeans. And Friday is school spirit or class color day. On Friday, seniors should wear red, juniors should wear blue, sophomores should wear pink, freshmen should wear green, and all middle school students should wear purple. Seniors, we're in third place, so please dress up. Yep, come on. It's not that hard. NHS will meet during the second part of homeroom today. Our club will meet today during the first half of homeroom in Mrs. Day's room. Surprise, surprise, Mr. Wilson's homeroom is the victor of the Penny War. The National Honor Society thanks everyone who participated. Over $2,000 was raised for the rural schools impacted by the wildfires through California Kids Fire Relief. The following two fundraisers are happening at the high school this week. Dan the Man will be here on Wednesday from 2.45 to 6.45 p.m. for our students and the community serving nachos, burrito bowls, and quesadillas. Dan will be located by the entrance to our tennis courts. Then, on Thursday morning, the Mary Lou Donut Truck will be here from 6.45 to 9 a.m. The donut truck will be parked on the north end of the parking lot. The last day to purchase a chance to pie a teacher at the pep rally is by the end of homeroom on Thursday, October 14th. Students interested in purchasing a $2 chance opportunity should see a sophomore class officer or Mr. Etherington before the deadline passes. Winners will be announced at the end of the school day on Thursday. Half of the proceeds will be donated to the family of Braley Kellogg, by early and often. This Friday, warm and cold apple cider as well as Hillside Acres apple cider donuts will be sold in the commons during all the lunch hours. You will definitely want to remember your cash for these treats to celebrate fall break. Neither Grace nor Kestra will be offering homeroom time for office hours with the athletic trainer this week before fall break. If physical therapy is needed, you will need to stay after school to receive those services. The next Student Safety Committee will meet on Tuesday, November 2nd at noon in the office conference room. The Fall Sports Recognition Night will be held on November 3rd starting at 6.30 p.m. in the main gym for all high school fall teams. The middle school team participation on this night will be determined by the varsity coach for each sport. Teams will then branch out individually starting at 7 p.m. for each sport's individual recognition time. For select seniors only, we will be I-step testing in November. Math testing dates are November 9th and 10th, while English testing will be conducted on November 16th and 17th. Testing will take place in rooms 107 and 108. Students will be testing have been emailed. If you have questions, please ask Mrs. Dunn. Any athlete participating in a winter sport needs to have a valid physical turned in to the athletic office and all online forms completed by parents and students on final forms. Go to this link to complete the online forms. Both the physical exam form and the online final forms need to be completed before an athlete is able to practice. See Mrs. Homko if you have any questions. Any athlete that would like to order letter jacket patches needs to see Mrs. Homko by November 12th of 2021. An order will be placed at the end of the day on November 12th. Now to Jonathan with today's weather. Today's weather is high 70 today and low 55 with wind speeds of 8 miles per hour and 10% chance of rain. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I've once again returned to my spy work. But turns out, I've made a horrific discovery. Aliens have abducted the real Inside the Nest crew. They disguise themselves, are now in our, our base. They're pretending to be our friends, but they're not. Only me and my cameraman are left. Come on, look through the window and you can see the fakers. You see them? All right. As me and my cameraman try to deal with the situation, back to you, uh, oh, um, back to you, you guys, yeah, the real guys for sure on Inside the Nest, yeah, it's totally you guys. Thank you, Jonathan. Peyton is not here today, so here are sports for today. Girls Varsity Volleyball is sectional at home starting at 6. Now to Natalia with today's lunch. 
Today's lunch, we will have walking tacos or a spicy chicken sandwich. We will also have lettuce, tomato cups, some pinto beans, and some applesauce. Tomorrow's lunch is a coney dog or a bacon cheeseburger, cherry tomatoes, chips, peaches, and some baked beans. I hope you're all feeling rather cutie today in your frat outfits, and have a great day at Rossville. Thank you, Natalia. Abby, do you have another joke? Yeah, I actually do. Awesome. Yes. Oh, crap. One moment. Okay, Kaylee. Why did the girl smear peanut butter on the road? I don't know. Why did she? To go with the traffic jam. Huh? <laughs> uh, I've been Kyle. And I've been Joe. And you've been inside the nest. <laughs>